So it's this little guy's fault. So it seems like the punch hole camera on the Galaxy S10 has pretty much split the room. Some people don't mind it and it's whatever, and some people absolutely hate it. Now, if you fall into that latter crowd and you want to do something about the punch hole camera, well today I got a couple of solutions for you. Let's do this. Pshh. Okay, so let's see what we're gonna do about this camera punch hole that's right at the top part of the screen. So you can see it's not so obvious. However, when it's on a white background, it really, really pops out. So there's a couple of things you can do. Firstly, just go and enable night mode. You wanna do that anyway, and as soon as you do that, there we go, the camera instantly disappears. Let's do that again. See, pretty much gone. Now we take it out of night mode and there it is. It's now instantly back. So that's the one thing you can do. Another option, go into your settings, little gear icon at the top, go down to display. And as you scroll down, you're looking for something called full screen apps. Let's go find it. There it is. Tap on that. And at the top, hide front camera. Enable that and there we go. It just puts a little software black bar and it just instantly makes it disappear. And the nice thing is it's gonna be pretty much gone even on the home screen. So it's permanently disappeared. Now let's go back in there, settings, display, down to full screen apps, and let's re-enable that. Okay, there is, the camera's instantly back. Whilst those options will work, the coolest solution I found is just playing with a good old wallpaper. So go into your gallery and let me show you a couple of options. So here is one. And as soon as you see that, there we go. So the camera lines up perfectly with the character with the eye in this particular case, in this particular case as well. If you have a very, very dark wallpaper, you can see that the camera just instantly just blends away. So some really, really clever designs that are out there and you just gotta find the one that really works for you. Once you find it, click on the three little dots and it's gonna set as wallpaper, tap on that. Now, which one do you want it on the lock screen, the home screen, on both? Uh, let's just choose the home screen for now. Let's go and see what it looks like. Yeah, cool. We're happy with that. Set as wallpaper. And there we go. You see how the camera instantly gets hidden because of the wallpaper. Right, let's go back into gallery. And this time, let's choose a different one. Let's choose something that's quite white. There we go. Let's choose this one. Click on that. Three little dots. Set as wallpaper. And this time we're going to make that on the lock screen. So let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's fine. Set wallpaper and let's lock the phone. So that's what it looks like. So where does one get these wallpapers from? I hear you ask. Well, there's a couple of places. Firstly, let's go into the Galaxy Store. There's a category called the cutout wallpapers for the S10. And in there is a whole host of wallpapers from you to choose from. Click on the one that you want. But then please note at the bottom, it is gonna cost you $1 per one of these wallpapers. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But what happens if you want wallpapers for free? What else can you do? Head over to the S10 Wallpapers subreddit on reddit.com. And in there, you'll find amazing Photoshop designs ready for your phone. There'll be some for the S10, for the S10 Plus, for the S10e. Just make sure that you get the right wallpaper for you. But just bear in mind, some of these artists do require credit. Some of these artists do require payment. So just do the right thing. Don't just download and steal somebody else's work. There are even templates that are ready as cutouts so you can go ahead and design your own if you have the skills or you so choose. Right, now that you find the wallpaper that you do want, long press on it, download image onto your phone, wait for it to download. Once it does that, get out of Chrome, go into your gallery, find the image you've just downloaded. Let's just choose that one. There we go. Three little dots at the top, set as wallpaper, set as my home screen, and ta-da, there we go. This is what it looks like. Now, all I'm gonna do is just redesign the screen, move things around, and not only does it look great, but now my camera is actually hidden and is no longer an eyesore. So a simple solution to a pretty complicated problem, which is not gonna please everybody, clearly. 
What do you guys think? Are you gonna do this? Let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. If you're new here, welcome. If you're into tech, gadget, gear and how-tos, hit the head below to subscribe. Check out some of these other cool videos down here and I'll see you guys on the next one because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now.